Are you confused or simply not confident about all the rules and regulations about e-cigarettes and whether you can bring them on board or do you have to check them? Can you vape on an airplane or in an airport? All the answers come on right up. Welcome guys to Aviator Inspirations. On this channel, I help you with tips and tricks to go further and faster in aviation. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. First and foremost, I wanna congratulate you for quitting. I'm sure it wasn't an easy road and I wanna help you continue your path to success by giving you the do's and don'ts about vaping and traveling. Let's jump right in. Packing. The first step is knowing what to do with your e-cigarettes while you're packing and getting ready for your flight. What you need to know is that you cannot check your e-cigarettes. They have to be carried on because they contain lithium ion batteries and those tend to catch fire from time to time, so they are prohibited in check baggage. So make sure that your e-cigarette is on your person before you check your luggage. Security. The second thing to remember when you're going through airport security is how much e-liquid you're bringing along with you. Remember that the liquid carry-on limit of 3.4 ounces still applies, so make sure you check your e-liquid containers before you go through airport security. Good job, you've made it through airport security. Now what do you need to know about vaping inside airports? It's important to know the vaping rules of that airport because vaping isn't covered under federal law the same way, each airport will have their own rules and regulations about where and where you cannot vape. To keep it simple and less confusing, most airports treat vaping just like smoking. So if you follow the smoking signs, you won't break any regulations. Boarding. Next, it's time to board the airplane. And now it's important to know the rules about vaping of that particular airline. Each airline comes up with their own rules and regulations about vaping and e-cigarettes. So make sure you're familiar with those so you're not caught off guard. The main rules, however, are consistent across all the airlines, at least in North America, and that is that you cannot vape on an airplane, period. You cannot vape on a plane, you cannot vape in the lab, you can't vape in your seat, you can't vape under your blanket. The penalties are quite steep with fines up to $25,000 and there's also a chance that you could be banned from flying on that airline. Not only that, but you can cause chaos and massive confusion. Flight crews are trained to detect fire and smoke inside a cabin and because fire is the most dangerous thing on an airplane, the pilots will divert to another airport. Pilots are trained to land as soon as possible because the average time from when a fire is detected to when the whole airplane is engulfed in flames is 17 minutes. So fires are taken extremely seriously and if you're smoking in your seat or under your blanket, it could seem like there's smoke or fire coming from the air duct. Vaping in the lab is also a bad idea because the smoke detectors in there are photoelectric, which means they sense the slightest amount of smoke or reduced visibility. And of course, tampering with a fire detector is a $3,000 fine. Charging your e-cigarette on the airplane is also prohibited because of the lithium ion batteries and the small chance that they can catch fire. So this video is not designed to discourage you from vaping or bringing e-cigarettes on board an airplane, but to help you avoid some of the challenges and confusion when traveling. I always encourage everybody to stop smoking, and if the e-cigarette helped you quit, I hope this video has helped you in some way also. If it did, hit the like button. Question of the week, what was your experience like traveling with e-cigarettes? Let me know down in the comments and whether you have any other tips or suggestions. So I wish you safe and happy travels and I'll see you next week.